Hi all, it is Nicole Ralph and welcome to the third and final part of our QGIS uh, web-based uh, system. In this um, video I will show you how to modify existing layers in your QGIS file and how to add final options so that your web system recognizes your project and shows them. This is our project uh, on the screen. In the previous part we just deleted some layers and uh, composers also and layer combinations for easy use. Now it loads uh, for less time and the file is also smaller in size. Now we need to cut the layers to the extent of the project. What do I mean? Let's say we have the layer of uh, contours as you can see it's absolutely huge. We don't need that many layers uh, and features in it and also here this is inside the municipality and uh, the other layer which is outside the municipality I will cut it based on this layer. Aperture cutter. This is only the extent of the layer, and I will cut it based on this then, this layer, which is uh, smaller as you can see. It is just uh, here, and I will therefore create a new layer to cut. Only feature uh, to you uh, to trim only features inside this uh, polygon here. Go to layer, add layer, add ve vector layer, or pardon me, create new shape file layer. I will use polygon um, project CRS ID. I will not need that and type integer. One, fill twist, OK, and specify where the layer is. Picture. All right, now we turn snapping to only this layer settings snapping options all visible layers snap to vertex tolerance 50 pixels why okay and the new layer I will create the polygon I was talking about here we go one that's it that's our polygon That's it, that's our polygon in the green. And now we will use uh, vector. I will just rename my contours. This way, so that I will find them easier and this one also. And now we go to vector, geoprocessing tools, Clip. We will use contours and this one. Hit. All right. Run. And let's see. All right. These are the contours we need. And now I will trim them further by cutting out the 
municipality boundary in it. As you can see, I already have uh, contours in my municipality and I need uh, these contours to be excluded, excluding the municipality ones. That's done by just uh, using again my aperture, but I will mark the layer of the municipality to be avoid intersections. Say we have um, here this layer. Apply, okay, and just cut, cut and paste. Simple stuff. Save and again I will do the same procedure. I show you different ways to cut your layers and um, now it will um, trim all contours remaining only outside the municipality and in this boundary. Geoprocessing tools, clip and that's it. Run. Here we go. That's the result I intended and now save as and I save the layer. Contours out. Save. Place it in, inside here and use the same symbology. Alright, so now we have contours in and contours out. That's fine with me. We will not need these contours anymore. And we check any layers that are like that, that uh, continue way, way outside our boundary. And we of course will cut that. Again I will go to my layer. I, in this case I will need to include the area inside the municipality and therefore I, I will just fill that. Yes. Alright save and again I will rename the layer I want to trim go to vector geoprocessing tools clip and that's it as you can see it trimmed I copy and paste the style and let's see I will need to open the attribute table I hope it kept the attributes yes and I will need just to copy and paste the features inside the new layer that's done by demarking uh, avoid intersections because if I use it it will further trim my features I will not need that and therefore I will just uh, use that and copy the two features copy and uh, go to my original layer save as I will save it as uh, the same layer and I will add in and now I will load it by marking only shape files yes here it is the same layer basically and I will just copy paste
copy paste and uh, delete the features and paste features from this layer copy and paste here we go save huh. all right let's assume that it doesn't allow us doesn't matter at all i will use this I will use uh, this layer which I already clipped and just uh, right click save as and uh, save it as a layer copy the style and rename my layers again remove ok and now I will have to check all of my states if they use uh, the new layer I create this one update and so on add the new layer to its place which is above this one that's it and uh, I will have to check any other layers that uh, exceed this boundary and uh, I will have to trim them of course I have the feeling that this there yes this there is way way outside and therefore I will have again to trim it again you know the procedure rename the layer rename the cutting layer as I've already done and go to vector geoprocessing tools clip and do the procedure copy the style paste the style and save the layer as a new shape file save it accordingly in your folder Oops. Say in perfect, and again I will have to check my layer states if they use this there instead of the new one. Yes, it uses uh, the old layer. I will have to turn it off, turn it on, update. And again, to the details, same procedure. Turn it off, update. Update. And the transport scheme of course turn on turn it off update and i can even delete this one i don't need it anymore but i will not do that because uh, my legend is using it and uh, therefore i will show you the exclude uh, layers function I will just go to transport and delete this one try update interestingly enough it has not shown my new layer and I will have to save the project and go here again and check in transport as you can see now it's shown therefore if you add new layers you will have to save your project before 
you restrict layers from here. Yes, here we go. This is what we basically create. And also this one, I will have to cut it. And uh, yes, this is okay. Apply, okay. Also, let's check if this layer is necessary. Yes, it is our boundary. We will have to keep that in case uh, the user chooses to view a much larger extent. And now I will again have to place the layer at the current place. Here we go. And that's about it. We finished working on the project. We'll save the project and close. Now we will have to modify our project. I will show you the home page as of now. It has two projects, Hello World and Natural Earth, which are of course the default ones. I, and they are located in, I will use again my total commander, free commander. And uh, they are located in C, Apache 2.2, HDocs, QGIS Web Client, Projects, and here we go. Hello World and Natural Earth. This is the project we just saved. And uh, we will now need to copy the coordinate system of the project. It is located. It is, as I said, WGS35, UTM, uh, WGS84. <laughs> I just uh, am confused about them. But WGS84, uh, UTM35, and, and I have the definition file for it. I will just have to load it from here, this one. I will create a new one. New folder. Paste and extract here. That's it. And these two files, I will need to go to Apache, HDocs, QGIS Web Client site, Lips, Proj4GS, Devs, and paste them here. So that it will find the coordinate system. Now I will have to rename my index file in htdocs index html. This is basically this web page here. And I will have to modify it so that it shows my the new project with the name Open with Notepad++. <laughs> it works. Yes, this is the first one. And I will have to check here also. Inside, we have another index, which is the real one. Edit. As you can see, we have the link to the site and this city of uh, Uster and so on. And it is here. This city of Uster and here. These three are, uh, I will show you, these three here. Uh, we have the two projects here. Hello World and uh, Natural Earth which are this one and uh, 
description is here. I will need to add a new project. Just copy and paste. Map item, all right. To this web client, HTML, map is, and I will have to copy the path to my QGIS file, which will be, it is located in D, uh, pardon me, in C, QGIS web client, projects, and this one. Let's see if we can copy the path, otherwise, properties, details, no, this is the path to a folder. I will just copy the path, go to my notepad plus plus, and paste it here, from map equals, and I will paste the path, Yes, the same, and uh, paste the name of the previous project. It is like this. Let's check. Yes, here we go. And this is the string it will show. I will rename it in, in uh, Bulgarian. And also, I will add the correct name of the coordinate system. Yes, that's it. I save this file. And I will again open my Notepad++ plus plus. and we have, let's see, we will go to site, yes, we have qgiswebclient.html and I will copy and paste it and uh, add a specific UGIS web plan for my project. Again, let's see if this one is referring to QGIS web plan. Aha, here we go. This one, this QGIS web client, shall be our new one, which I just copied. This one. Copy and paste. Because in it I will further define uh, specific uh, options, specific options for my new QGIS file. All right, and now we go to C, Apache 2.2, HDocs, Cubis Web Client, and uh, Site, and now JavaScript. And here we have options for opening uh, the specific file. 
I will just open my newly created QGIS web client BR and uh, edit Notepad plus plus. And as you can see, it uh, directs which uh, JavaScript modules to use with the correct definitions. I will use uh, global options, not the general one, but a specific one, which I will create it later. And again, go to JavaScript. I will copy that because I will need the path. And these global options, I will copy it. And you know the procedure. Just add the, the abbreviation of your new project or your whole name of the new project if you want. I prefer to use just abbreviations. And global options BR will be the global options for the newly created GIS file. Again, edit with Notepad++. Plus plus. And I will check. And as you can see, we have uh, here many scales, many options about the project, zoom levels, uh, regular scales, and so on. I will have to delete some of them because I will not need them. I will use only to 100,000. See, yes, the final one doesn't have a comma in it, and therefore I will delete this comma. And uh, 1 to 100, I will use 1 to 200 and, or 1 to 500 for my beginning. Uh, also, I will not need any more than 600 dpi this is basically the default uh, values for layers now let's see if the coordinate system is defined here max scale mean scale I will use max scale 500 mean scale is this one one hundred thousand and projection I will have to use the projection in the project which you can find by loading your project And uh, I will show you an example I have already created. We have here created our global options. Let's see, edit with Notepad++. Plus plus. And we can even use that, but I will just search for the name of the coordinate system because it uses the same system. Here we go. EPSG32635. This is the code of the coordinate system. 
And if we open our QGIS file, I will just save it like that. And uh, we have to check the coordinate system here on project properties, general, this is for ellipsoid measurements and in CRS I will have the coordinate system, it is here, this one and you can see this this code here, EPSG and 32635, this is the code which I use here, copy and go to the other file here we go, paste, also, let's see where else I will search for it, control C, find, find next, find next, search backwards. I will Go to the beginning is basically the same. Find next, yes, only here. And I will just check for any other definition of the coordinate system. Selection layer, we have to specify a correct layer. Also, I will search for country. Country, find all. And I will just specify lot because I need the layer to be not country but uh, the lot. And it is this layer. And I will search for country and replace it with this layer, replace all. Close, let's check project titles, well, this one I'll specify the correct name, Right. Basically, we've already defined most of the things we needed. Zoom levels, coordinate system, titles, search content. Yes, that's it. Save it. Save the QGIS web client. Save the index. And let's see if our operation is successful. Just go to the QGIS map server client. And again, I will have to delete recent history. clear recent history, here everything and uh, place press clear now, it will really, uh, clear all of our history. And again go to local host and here we go, this is the project. I will zoom correctly. Here, save, close.
So it's Nico Alif from Arpo signing off. I wish you success and inspiration in your work and life.